Hello everybody, welcome back to Moranta the Gungeon. Beat the Gungeon. Let's go into the Gungeon. Uh, here we are. Into <laughs> the Gungeon. I don't know, I could keep that going forever. But it wouldn't be getting better over time, that's for sure. Anywho, we're playing as the Robo. We're playing as the Roboat himself. The Roboat Cop. Oh my goodness. We have a chance of death, that is for sure. But also... We've been having some OP runs, and you know what? I've been saying every single day. It's we've been on a insanely OP run roll. I've been saying every time. There's no way we're gonna keep on going. But now, I have the feeling like in the back of my head, I'm like, okay, well that means that now it's gonna actually go. Like we're gonna have an OP run again. But now that that's the case, then guess what? We're gonna not have one. He blew up the water barrel. That's fine. We have the coolant if we really want to go. But I don't really feel like going. We've been doing a lot of that extra. That extra stuff. Definitely, definitely not feeling like going to the second secret floor or anything as Robot. This character, he's got like a, you know, a little bit of extra difference to him in the fact that all health that you lose is permanent. Making him, you know, like, arguably not as you know, like, crucial for, to do on a secret run. I don't know. Or a secret floor run. I don't know. You know, you can get the extra damage from junking chests. Like, it kind of makes sense to go to the sewers, at the very least. It kind of makes sense to go to all the floors, truly, still, because getting items is nice. However, you know, like, if I lose, if I get hit right here, that's health I don't have on the Lich. When, on other characters, that's not normally the case. You know, it's it's a lot of stress to have on the back of your mind. Uh, like, the the rat is less of an obvious choice on the, on the, the robot, for sure. That being said, I'm probably going to skip the sewer go to the rat when in reality the better play might be skipping the rat and going to the sewers truly truly it'll be my reward though if we if we beat the rat and we don't throw the whole run because of it then uh then we deserve it okay we might uh might junk that we love getting extra chests because i've said it before i'll say it again because we're still kind of in the early stage of the series if you're new here uh, junking chests as robot gives you a permanent 5% damage up. Even after you lose the junk. You can literally, you can sell the junk. Although, honestly, I don't recommend selling junk in most scenarios. Oh my god. In most scenarios, I really don't recommend selling junk unless you're using it to get into the RNG department. Because you just, I don't know, you might run into the junk and shrine, you might get junk in, you might, you know, you might want for trash cannon. There's just like, there's a couple reasons. Um, and then, you know, you might as well just hang on to it until the very, very end. At the very least, holding on to it until um, the RNG department grade. I didn't need to junk that right now. We might get two keys from this. Even if we get two keys. I mean, yeah, okay. If we get two keys, then we would be able to open it. But honestly, I'll happily junk a brown chest. There's not a lot of banging brown chest guns that are better than robot starter there are more now because of the whole uh, farewell to arms update making a lot of synergies happen for the the bad bad guns making them not so bad bad anymore that was just like that was just bad 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 I right, bring you up here oh oh want him to do the uh, shot where he goes above his head. Uh-oh. Come on, mister. Come on up. Ah, if you lure him up to the top, you can make him fizzle that one attack. And when we got only one, uh, we got, what? <laughs> I was going to say one hit left. One little chunk of damage left. Uh, no blanks, then. kind of want to be a little safe, though. We love the skull spitter here. As for money, I guess I'm actually just gonna, I'm gonna hold. Wait, I wanna open this one. All right, we, we misplayed. Let me tell you how we misplayed. We should have definitely, if we're gonna junk one, we should have definitely junked this first because you do get an extra 15% chance to get junk. It didn't matter, let me tell you that. But still, just because it didn't matter doesn't mean it's not technically a misplay and every misplay, every recognized misplay is an opportunity to learn. Just as the same as me telling you, telling you something that's true, you know? The same as just telling you, telling you something to do. 
doing something bad and then telling you why it's bad, you know, you can you can learn from that too. So it's not like a, I don't really care if I make mistakes. As long as they're mistakes I'm paying attention to, we're still learning. And sometimes I'll make mistakes and, uh, and not pay attention to them. And we can, you know, we can learn from that. We can learn that it's okay to be a freaking human. It's okay. Your worth is not dependent on how good you are at Enter the Gungeon. That is the, definitely something I know. But you know what? You didn't come here to learn <laughs> learn how to love yourself. You learned how to beat the Gungeon. Came to learn how to beat the Gungeon. Or maybe you're just here because you like me. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever you want. I'm cool with it. All reasons are fine. Whoop. I'm just glad you're here. Welcome to my happy little Gungeon series. We're gonna shoot these happy little bullikins. Hey, look, it's Aghanim. Have we not fought Aghanim? Or wait, this is not Aghanim. Uh, just, is it just called the Dark Magician? Or do we learn later that it is Aghanim? I don't think so. Aghanim is the, uh, the guy in the dang helicopter. Holy moly. You definitely didn't come here to learn Gungeon lore. That's for sure. A thousand hours in, you don't have to like pay attention to any of the lore. You can make some guesses. Maybe you're right. <laughs> I don't know. We are good. So we might want to... Where is the chest? Okay, it's an opened brown chest. Some people think it's sacrilege to junk those because they're open. So therefore, it's got to be a great deal. Yeah, but I don't know. A lot of times, it, the unlocked brown chests seem to give you more reliably garbage stuff you can just because you can just get uh consumables and there's no single consumable except if you're really low on hp or something and you need a shield as robot that i would say is worth more than a permanent five percent damage up and then you might be saying right now rito go junk it then you stinker i told you though increase the chance of getting junk if you have one key we don't have a key all right Hopefully we get one, because I don't think we're going to be able to buy one and get the key for the rat if we're even going to be doing that. I'm not so sure. I'd like to say my coolant for those big boys, too, by the way. I feel like that's like a solid ro robo tip. Just put it under the uh, the big guys, and you'll be mo most effective. Otherwise, you know, just cover large, large chunks of enemies with it. Nice and easy. It's it's a surprisingly good active item. You would look at it, maybe, and maybe you're like, oh, spread some water? Who cares? Gunslinger's got Lich Eye Bullets. I mean, you're not wrong there, obviously. <laughs> obviously, Lich Eye Bullets is better than coolant. Don't, don't at me. <laughs> but it's a good active. It's a, for a starting character. For a complete, like, to have literally forever every run forever it's a pretty good active it's kind of like it's a molotov that can't hurt you which is a you know it's a nice thing molotov however does have the ability to act oh my god i ran out of bullets at exactly that second yeah this is a great opportunity to show molotov believe it or not does actually set flying enemies on fire as long as they go over it uh but Electricity does not zap enemies that go over it. You can't explain that. Ooh, we might not get enough. We also still don't have a key. And at this point, I will happily junk that stuff. I mean, at the same time, maybe I could open up the brown chest. Maybe we'd get a key. I don't freaking know. Right now, I'm like really hoping we go up, we kill the boss, the boss drops a key, and we're all great. That's my, that's my big old hope. All right, no key for me, I plea. All right, well, fine. This is a little bit of a nightmare. Okay, this sucks. We're gonna run out of the skull spitter. At least we get to have it a little bit. We got those things have too much HP. Like the counterplay of them is so minimal. Like, go kill him. Okay, well, like, you're gonna do just as much damage just actually shooting the ammo, ammo conda. I don't know. I feel like those nubs should have a little less HP. I do. Sue me. Gun snake bad. I could not get around that. I had the blank, and I didn't do it. 
All right, we are actually in an awful spot, and I don't think this run should fight the rat. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think this one is looking like it should fight the rat. It's pretty bad right now. It's pretty bad. Wait, like if we get a if we get enough money to buy the key and we get a key drop, maybe we will. Oh boy. All right. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, mama, give me a key drop at the very least, please. Otherwise, oh. Okay, that's a key drop for sure. That is a, that's a key drop. But it doesn't count as a key. So we're just gonna open up everything. Also, we did not get 115 shells, so guess what? Oh, oh. we do not go. What is up with you, remote bullets? I mean, I'm happy to see you, but what the hell? Mm, yoink. Rather have the 5% damage up at this point. Um, bup, 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 bup. We tried. Sponge. I don't really see a reason to get, get it right now. It does give us the ability to soak up fire, poison, water. Eh. It's, it's kind of useful. There's a couple situations. Uh, helps you cheese uh, Wallmonger. You can absorb his liquid fire attack. That's like the most directly up oh, every time I see this room every single time delete this room uh but yeah that's the it's like the one super applicable thing but it doesn't like it doesn't even happen every run you're not gonna see that boss every single run but you know it could help you it could easily help you make the difference between perfecting him or not perfecting him. So, pretty big deal. Big boy put down the electricity. We can even hurt him from over here without messing with him. We can even, I mean, we can do that anyway with the uh, remote bullets, which is permanently glued to my body, apparently. We're getting hit, like, a lot. The rat would be scary, but I'll be honest, we would probably have been able to handle him as soon as we got the AK-47, because not only is it a Oh, Full Metal Jacket is like, it's not as good as you, everybody probably like thinks it is because you're using your own blanks, you know, you, if, you, if you're a new player, it can help you a lot if you're having a hard time effectively blanking, but at the same time, new players will probably reflexively blank anyways, so it's not really helping you that much. A big reason why I bought it right there is honestly just because I wanted the piece of armor. Like, that's, that's like the big reason. And because I'm a little bit worried. Like, I think it, it can naturally save you a little bit. But then it's also like you don't have the ability to blank when you want. So there's, there's, they're rare, but there's some situations where maybe you'd rather save your blank for a secret room. Or maybe you need, you need to save them for the, uh, for the rat, you know, to get into the rat room or something. There's some situations where this item's like not that good. It's it's definitely not as exciting as most people who see it at first sight would think. You know what? Would I mean? I hate that, but <laughs> antibody is literally useless. That sucks. We're definitely gonna sell that on the fourth floor. But you know what we're doing? Discussion item of the day. Can't explain the physics on that either. Uh, we're talking about Full Metal Jacket. Tell me why you think it's good. Tell me why you think it's bad. Tell me about what you think about it, the reference of it, the, uh, the Ammonomicon entry, just literally the way it looks. Literally, whatever you feel like you have something to say. You know, anything, any part of it that you have, feel like you have something to say for. You know? Let me have it in the comments section below. I want to know. Let me know why you agree with me. Let me know respectfully why you don't. I, I'd i love to hear it. It's a, it's a fairly divisive item, I think. I know that like a lot of people who are new to the game do think it's really, really good. I think that it, if you sit down and you think about it a bit, though, personally, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think there's as much value there as you think it is. As you think there is. If you think it's, if it's, if you think it's good, I'm willing to hear why you think I'm wrong though. 
for sure. It's... I did buy it, so, like, you know, I'm a sucker. Also, fun fact, a key 47 you do not need keys in it. It literally works as a key if you hold it, so don't have to worry. You don't have to be concerned that I, uh, I used up my ability to have infinite keys. You can just hold it, and it does the same thing. As long as you're holding it while you try to open the lock. Whop. Whop. Thank you. Super pleased about that uh, that locked room right over there, too, though. Oh, I wish we didn't buy the full metal jacket, because the M16 is good. But I bought the full metal jacket, and I knew I probably shouldn't have done it. <laughs> I was looking, I felt like there was a rhyme there on the surface, but I was like, oh, I'll figure it out before I get to the, uh, get to the line, that's for sure. Nope. Oh my god. It is far too early in the morning to, uh, to rap. Or do whatever the hell, what I was just trying to do was. Oh. First one I felt like I kind of needed to roll for. Fun thing about the, uh, the remote bullets, you can actually start charging them. You know, you can shoot something out before enemies that are go invisible even show up. Did not need to blank. Did not need to blank. For like a couple reasons. Oops. For a couple reasons. We don't really need the blanks though, so it doesn't matter. String heel boots. That's a that's a new unlock, so it should be something to fill up our Ammonok on at the very least. Yep. Double jump. It's an okay item, I think. It's, it's fine. There's definitely worse items. Okay, well we didn't need our blanks anyways. Womp. We don't need keys. We're out of here. Antibody, by the way, if you don't know, and if you don't know why it, that item was useless when I picked it up, it <laughs> it doubles some uh, doubles some heart pickups from a half a heart to a full heart, or a full heart to a full heart and a half. However, need I remind <laughs> need I remind you, we don't have any of that, so that sucks. It's worth a decent amount of money, though. It's like it's it's a fine, fine amount of money that's going to be worth. Yoink! I think we're going to go to the RNG department today, since we did ditch the sewers. We did ditch. Um, whoop! We ditched the sewers. We did. Eeyoo. Didn't get to do the rat because we just didn't get enough money, just straight up. Like not much. We not much extra we could have done there. Uh, but also. Because we can sacrifice our master rounds and we do not lose the shields we gained. Because, like, that'd be cruel. Cruel and unusual. Oh, hell. Rude. Rude. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, okay. That was... <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Okay. Happily. Oh, I honestly, honestly, I didn't know for sure if it took your shields. It didn't used to, if I remember correctly. So that gives us a pretty big damage boost. Uh, it does give us a decent amount of curse as well. And normally it takes away a full heart container. For us, it just takes away two shields, I guess. Which is fine. I'll happily do it for the damage. Though you always got to think about when you're doing that, that you're also increasing the HP pool of some enemies, which you're not getting a net gain of damage on those guys. Only getting a net gain of damage on all the enemies that are not jammed. However, if you get something like silver bullets, it really doesn't matter. Without taking damage, I hate getting this one compared to the other ones because this is one that you can you can lose on accident. The other ones kind of just like I mean we have the full metal jacket, so it'll save us a little bit, I guess. Some of the other ones you can just be like, all right, I'll just I'll happily take damage if it means I'll complete the challenge. Meat bun. Okay. I love stress being stressed out. What'd you give me? Big iron! I should have looked at my freaking hands. Pretty good with accuracy up, and we have super accuracy up. So now we got crazy damage. Crazy, crazy damage until we get hit, which is inevitably going to be pretty soon. Really happy we have Full Metal Jacket right now. This is the one kind of other scenario where Full Metal Jacket is pretty juicy. We do not lose our meat bun damage up 
until we actually take damage. So, hell yeah. As long as we have blanks, we get to keep meat, meat bun. Like, that's a pretty good situation. So, we're in a weird place where buying blanks from the shop is a strat. So, that's kind of fun. That's kind of fun. It's a rare scenario for sure for me. But that's kind of nice. I'm glad to, you know, like, and that's what I'm saying. It's like even items that are usually or almost always or 95% of the time they're bad, that doesn't mean they don't have uses, you know? There's times to have Full Metal Jacket. And this is it. This is totally the time. This is a, there's a run for everything. And that's, that's part of playing the game a lot too, knowing that there is a run for everything. If we had Meat Bun already and Full Metal Jacket was in the shop, I would have been like, of course we're buying this. This is amazing. Because it's just we need to not get hit so we can keep our meat bun. But normally on uh, on other runs, it's not eh, it's not worth it. Fat line, I don't know about that. Honestly, I'm just gonna do it. Sure. There's almost definitely a secret room right there. Fine. I have been jabated. All right. Oh well, that's fine. It happens. We found a chest yet? We haven't found a chest yet. Weird. They're all just sitting in the middle here. Yoink. Yoink. I feel like we should be able to fly over pits, but we can't. Because normally we would have done the done the rat by now. God, we do a lot of damage. Thank you. Thank you for giving it back. Woo-woo. That sucks too. That gives us the chance to or we heal up HP after a certain amount of certain amount of damage. Obviously, we're going to sell that and the other garbage, useless items. And then we don't even have to sell our junk, just in case there's the weird off chance that we do find junkin'. So that's something. That's kind of neat. We can sell our master rounds, too. Could have just sold all two, <laughs> say all of our master rounds, but we missed one. We'll probably get one on this floor. I mean, hate to... Be premature with that, but we'll probably get one on this floor. Truly, truly. I shouldn't have filled that up. It's not as good anymore now that we have the remote bullets, because like a big part of the effectiveness is the auto aim. It actually goes away. I, I I would argue this becomes less effective with remote bullets if it wasn't for the 10% damage up that you do get. Shot bow. Shot bow becomes okay with the remote bullets. Fun fun situation. This is one of those days where we're just like, we're getting a lot of items that are normally like, not my favorite, not my jam, but we're getting situations where they're okay. And that's what I love about roguelikes is, or at least that's what I love about good roguelikes is that sometimes bad items can even work if you have the right stuff. So here's the tough thing. We need to not press the blank button. We just need to try to dodge. Just don't press the blank button. The game will blank if we need it. That's the hard thing to remember. Gotta be crazy damage. Kill Pillars is the best boss to get if you have a lot of damage. Because the boss damage cap is split four ways. Pretty crazy. That was a... Uh, you could tell that that was a uh, mimic pedestal. Because of the way that it is. Now, because the uh, the little smiley face on it, you can tell before you... And it's also a different tint sell that let's sell the stuff that we like literally can't use oh we got the hazmat suit why did i want the sponge anything else that's not worth having this is not worth having before we go on to do the irreversible Whomp. all right we out of here we'll, we'll go we'll go we'll go i'm glad they don't actually make you take a little half hit there <laughs> that or, or something that'd be that'd be a little stinky huh you know what maybe with ghost bullets nah eh, well that was okay got the decoy too we can even we can use it like an actual decoy go figure not not to mention the ability to steal it's, yeah, it's fun to use this item and actually have it be useful 
What a world. In a world. What a world. Okay. Meet bun run sun. Meet bun run sun. Meet bun run sun. Meet bun run sun. Fingers crossed that we do beat the big boy without getting hit in the uh, in the red health. I mean, we got a good chance to. We have a much better chance to if we never get hit getting uh, on the way to the boss, you know? We'll use the decoy. I, I some There's some bosses where the decoy and things are not that great. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah, there's one. I knew that was going to happen as soon as I saw that jam guy, though. Because that's kind of the one nasty, nasty enemy on this floor, I feel, is that big boy. And when he's jammed, you know, it means he's going to be around longer. Probably should have adjusted my plan of attack for the room. And gone for somebody with lower HP. Oi, oi, oi. All right. Big boy gone. Big boy's gone? Was, it, was there actually two there? Was there actually two there? Was there not actually two there? This is a little rough. A little rough. All right. Here we are. Two hits we can take on the boss. What is our actually highest damage deal? I, it might be the A key. I'm worried about using the decoy because there's some bosses, like I said, there's some bosses, some fights where it actually is really sloppy to use on. I mean, helping us right here, that's for sure. Do not blank. Do not blank. Do not blank. Do not blank. Thank you, decoy. Did go away right there. All right. I think we're set. Even if we take a hit here. Uh, okay, now I'm worried. Now we're fine. What a fool. What a fool. To be to be afraid. What a fool. Ooh, vertebrae K47. We get that synergy life. Give me damage. Give me more damage. That's what we that's what we need. We need a lot of damage. RNG department is the same every single time. That's why I always go through the same path. Alright. Well, we still get the meat bun. Fantastic. We're gonna have it for quite a while here. I like it. I like it, I like it. And then if we can get to the uh the shop buy any excess blanks or just get any excess blanks in general that'd be lovely and what do you know gang we got another op run i uh i guess i did something caliber loves me i guess caliber loves me oh just gotta keep it going i mean I, the thing is with the meat bun you feel like in some situations, it's not useful because you get hit eventually. But it's not the case. It's like, how much damage am I not taking because I'm killing these enemies so fast? That's what you have to think about. How much damage... How many shields do I have right now because I was able to kill the enemies before they hit me? You know? Could be, could be three, four. Who knows? I'm crazy right now. I just want... Give me Junkin. Give me... Damage up. We don't need anything else. This run is already good enough. Oh my god. We can wreck with anything right now. I don't even need to switch the AK-47. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Ah. It mattered. It freaking mattered. There's a synergy with that. I can't believe it actually mattered. That is, okay, that is probably one of the only situations on planet Earth that the game could have come up with to actually have it matter. That's crazy. I cannot, I mean, we can steal it. So it doesn't, still doesn't matter, but like, I'd rather not, you know? Pick that up just to get it filled out in the Amazon account. I'd rather buy it. We'll see. We'll get to the, uh, We'll get to the blacksmith. But I don't really care about the one curse from stealing it. But we're already going to get a decent amount of curse for picking it up. If you don't know, it's an amazing synergy that makes the AK-47 even stronger and 
have infinite ammo. So therefore, like, basically a game set match on this, uh, on this, on this run if it wasn't already. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Whoop, whoop. Alright, don't need to go to the past. Don't need anything. I'm just processing anything from the shop. Yeah, I think, I mean, we'll just see what we get. We got so much money. We could steal something if we want. We will definitely steal the a or the uh, skeleton key. We'll definitely steal it if uh, need be. But there's totally a chance that there's a key in the shop, right? Whoop. I don't like this room. I fall in the pit every once in a while. Oh God. The pressure. The pressure. It's mounting. Okay. Just want to. If I want to make it to the shop, I want there to be a blank. I want there to be a key. That's like my big thing. We have so much money, we can buy whatever the hell. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take the key. Glass cannon is insanely good. This is all insanely good. Like we're just we're fine. I fill that up just to just to assert dominance on her. Glass cannon is crazy. It's one of the uh, one of the only guns, few guns in the game that actually does break the boss damage cap. But now we got this too. Like it's just God. This is this run is just stupid. Stupid good. Oh my God. But with all the damage ups we have, uh, this boss is going to get destroyed. Uh, what? I mean, I'm happy with it, but I'm confused as to why that happened. It was supposed to open it up, but okay. Oh my god. This is OP. How is every run somehow more OP than the last right now? Like, what's happening? We're going to hit critical mass, and the game is going to just be like, you know what? We gave you far too much. We're taking it all away, and they're going to just like... My game's gonna shut down in the middle of it, but it's gonna count as a death or something. And you're gonna be like, oh, we got you. It was all leading up to this. We still got the two blanks, so we haven't been hit. Good deal. Haven't been hit, haven't gotten the blank. Obviously, we have the meat bun still. But on top of that, we just, and it's infinite ammo. Infinite ammo, too. It's so good. Just gonna kill this. Just gonna turn that into junk. The only thing that would make this crazier is if we got Junkin. We don't need the box. It's the ability to steal without any additional effect. Alright. So. This is a, what we like to call a strong run in a video game. Ignores boss damage cap, baby. Glass can. There she blows. All we gotta do is just not take damage on this phage, which uh, actually has me a, a little worried for some reason. I feel like we'll get hit twice, but we definitely are gonna one cycle. It's okay, we're fine now. Even if we get hit. Even if we get hit. <laughs> Crazy! Crazy, crazy, crazy. How long did that fight even take? Insane. Nothing worth buying. Shouldn't have shouldn't have purchased that ammo as a joke. <laughs> shouldn't have purchased it as a joke. Alright. We got our A key though. We got infinite ammo. This is obviously the only thing we're gonna be using until the Lich. And then we're gonna obviously be using the glass cannon at the Lich. So we'll probably get at least a half half order of ammo. And if we do, that's enough. If we get this ammo spread, we can put that in the uh, glass cannon. That's all we would really need. And we don't even need it. Honestly, we really don't need it. We don't need anything. We need nothing. Nothing. Crazy, 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 crazy. And I love remote bullets because you can truly just uh, you can drop shots when the enemies are still spawning and you know it's gonna gonna get to them it's so good it's oh my god this run is wild this run is insane uh 
Okay, I don't like this room, though. I don't like it because it's big. It's big and plump. Don't like it. Wait, ooh. All right, all right, all right, big boy, big boy. That's right there. That, my friends, is uh, the importance of knowing where certain enemies are going to spawn in certain rooms. We were able to systematically destroy every enemy before they could do the attack that would wreck us. Obviously, we're OP as hell, but like, it's still important for us to not get hit right now. Because if we get hit, then we lose a lot of fun, you know? <laughs> I know we're not going to lose the run if we get hit a couple times. I mean, we're not even going to lose our meat bun, hell, if we get hit a couple times. But still, it's crazy. Thank you. Thank you. Flip the table before we enter the room. Get the most effect out of the uh, Table Tech Rage there. We are able to carry it into the first phase. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Crazy. All right. If we had a map through this place, this would be speedrun territory for sure. I mean, still, this is not even as strong as the chamber gun. But honestly, it's really close. And it's infinite ammo. And it's infinite keys. This synergy is crazy. AK-47 is already amazing. This synergy is just stupid good. Stupid good. And the fact that you don't have to worry about ammo is... It's a big deal, you know? It's a really big deal. That means... Even if we get no ammo drops, we could could use it the whole floor and use it on uh, on the boss as well. If we wanted to. Which I guess I don't want to. Just not, even, not even gonna bother with that. Why would I? Why would I worry? Why would I care? We're not even using our um, our this, which we could. I mean, I only thought about it because it was a good opportunity for it. Where are you? I love just being able to hold down the left mouse button. So good. Stay away. Make a figure eight. Aw. Some of them make figure eights. There we go. Wow! <laughs> My super move, huh? I like that. I always, I've always liked that. Okay, well, fair enough. Why to do it? Stupid. Yoink! All right. Shouldn't have used my blank just to goof. But we got the decoy, which we can uh, we can wreck the third phase with. We can actually mess with the third, the second phase with it too, though. I don't know. I just don't want to. I don't want to lose the meat button, but it doesn't really matter if we do. To be honest, and the thing is, we have the bonus uh, synergy for the glass cannon. Because if you don't know, normally if you get hit with the glass cannon, you lose all of your ammo in it. However, we have the max pain synergy or maximum pain. I, I it's based off of max pain, the name. But um. Where if we get hit and we take damage, we actually lose our um, our glass guan stone is instead. Oh my god! Ah, uh, if you get up there, you can actually um, you can put the decoy right here. Anything that blocks movement, and it'll block him from getting down. You can actually like sometimes permanently keep him there. It's pretty darn good. Anyway, we didn't need to make that run any stronger, so uh, <laughs> I'm okay. I'm feeling just fine. Feeling just fine. All right. Well, back to uh, go unlock some stuff. Usually, I'm just I'm so used to ending the runs here, or ending the videos here too. But oh my god, oh my dang! I mean, Full Metal Jacket meat bun. That's the usage for it, like. Man, did you see that fat zero up there? Oh, I love it. Love it. 
Teleporter prototype. Don't love it. None of those are that good. We could save up for platinum bullets. Patriot. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. Patriot's pretty good. RC Rocket is god tier. The op is really darn good, too. Anyway, that is going to do it for today. Subscribe for daily MP Engine videos and plenty more. Hell, check out my stream, too. Twitch.tv slash Retromation every Monday and Wednesday at 4 p.m. Central. And uh, if, you don't, if you can't catch it that time, I have a second channel. Rigo Does Games, where I upload all my VODs as well. But that's it for today. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.